dessert is going to be something you would definitely like to use either for the holidays or just for the summer. It's quick and easy and I'm guaranteed your family will enjoy it. So see how I put this together. We start with marshmallows and some sour cream, extra creamy Cool Whip, and I have four different types of fruits. I also have some maraschino cherries, some coconut sugar, um, thawed blueberries, and then I have some chopped walnuts. Now the walnuts and the coconut are two ingredients that are optional, but if you don't like it or you don't want to have it, then don't even use it. We're going to also need a very large bowl because this makes a very large portion of this ambrosia salad. And this ambrosia salad is slamming. But what we're going to do first is we're going to drain the fruit before we use it into our salad. And also with the blueberries, you want to make sure that they're good and thawed. So as you see, I started with my chopped or my chunky coconut not coconut, pineapple, and I let them drain over a large bowl. Now, of course, when you are opening up your fruit and you're draining your fruit, you want to try to save that juice because that juice can be used for making fruit punch or whatever other dessert or just a nice glaze for a cake. But I will be saving the juice of this fruit. So I also drained some mandarin oranges and I'm opening up now my can of fruit cocktail or nope these are the peaches and I'm also going to drain those every can that I used I drained all of the liquid off as much as possible into a large bowl as you can see I made sure that everything came out and I'm also going to go ahead and use my fruit cocktail which is shown here and this recipe is very versatile. If you don't want to use the fruit cocktail, you can use something different. But I am using fruit cocktail and all the other fruits that is. Some people just use a fruit cocktail. Some people use just the straight mandarin oranges, pineapple, and maybe some peaches. But I like this to be very fruity. You can also use the tropical fruit that has the papaya and the mango and all of that as well. After I let all my fruit drain, then I grab my large bowl and I am going to get a large spoon to mix this up with. And then I take my fruit and I go ahead and I pour it into my bowl. And I make sure that all of my fruit is out and my juice is set to the side. And I'm, only, I'm also going to use one jar which I'm going to drain the fruit juices out of. of the maraschino cherries now if you don't like cherries you can omit that also but I like the extra cherry flavor in this dish so after they were drained I went ahead and added it to the other fruit and then I realized I want a little bit of the juice so I added probably about one or two tablespoons of the juice into this mixture now I'm going to go and add my marshmallows. And if you don't want, you don't have to use marshmallows in this dish. But this just added an extra fluffiness to the ingredients and to this recipe. I'm using the extra creamy Cool Whip here. You can use regular, but I wanted this fruit dish to be really, really creamy and rich. So I'm adding the whole container of the Cool Whip in it. And after I add all the Cool Whip, then I'm going to add about three to four large heaping teaspoons or tablespoons of the sour cream, which probably equals to about three quarters of a cup of the sour cream. Now, this is going to balance some of that sweetness of the fruit and of the Cool Whip. Sour cream gives this fruit dish a really creamy, rich, and kind of a little zing to this creamy delicious dessert like I said it's three large heaping tablespoons about three fourths of a cup and then I'm adding three fourths of a cup of sugar to this and I'm also going to go ahead and add my blueberries I was going to drain my blueberries but if you want you can add fresh blueberries that way you don't have to worry about the juice I'm just going to go ahead and fold all of these in together because you don't want the Cool Whip to pretty much deflate from the thickness and the creaminess. 
if deflate is the word I would use. I'm not for sure. But you want to maintain your creaminess of this dish. I went ahead and added my walnuts. And I'm going to also add some coconut to this as well. Which also makes this dish very tasty. All these different textures is really good for this dessert. And it is so quick and easy. And it is perfect for the summer months or even during the holiday season. If you don't want to turn on your stove or oven, this is the perfect dessert to take to any potluck or any dinner party that you're invited to. Once you mix this all together, then it is ready to serve. You can serve this right away or you can wait two to four hours. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please click like, share, and subscribe. You can also get the recipe in the description box below. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.